Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. Let us see how to install Oracle Express Edition on CentOS 7. These are the general steps which can be followed for any Linux based operating system. Uh, my system is CentOS 7 so I'll be performing on that and as we know that Oracle Database Express Edition provides uh, there are two types of databases which can be downloaded and which can be utilized one is enterprise edition which is the licensed one and you can download that you can see for testing and for practice purpose uh, but uh, if you are you if you are planning to use that for production you may want to have license for that and on the other side we have oracle database express edition express Ed edition is free and this is the smaller testing version of Oracle database, the real enterprise version. So it's good for practice, for learning, and all the concepts are same, only the difference comes when the capacity is different and the license. So Oracle Express Edition provides an Oracle database and tools for managing the database. And the installation also includes Oracle A Application Express. Application Express can be used for developing rapid web application and uh, this is like it provides all kinds of tool uh, very nice GUI we'll see this eventually Oracle Application Express so let us see how to perform this downloading if you are doing Java programming and you need Oracle database in your system so you may want to use Express Edition so like our platform is Linux and we want to see how to do that so apart from the general uh, software and hardware requirements like uh, RAM should be more than 256 MB or 512 is recommended for this and you should have a latest uh, operating system Linux one and um, display setting and others but uh, so those are just general requirements which almost all of us are having so I would like to proceed with software packages requirement there we have to see what we need to download so there are some couple of packages like G library C and make and binary utilities GCC library AIU so make sure that these packages are available with your Linux system if these are not available then you may want to download these packages so just come to your command prompt and you can either you can be root user or you can be the sudo you can use sudo command for this and I'm using yum for downloading these packages so I'll just say sudo yum install library C it's asking for password and providing my pseudo password The G library C can be provided or you can provide the specific version with this. Uh, first I think it's updating my the existing packages. Let me pause the video while it's downloading and it's updating this and we'll continue so as you can see uh, that this is asking for G uh, various version of G library C and I think this package is already downloaded so it's just asking for update I can say yes The download is complete and my system is updating these packages so if you are doing it first time it may take a while and depending upon your internet speed it will take little while but once you get these packages we can go ahead 
with the installation. So G library C is downloaded. And the second requirement is we need make and the version can be equal to or greater than 3.8.0. So you can say yum install make star and I'm providing my password. Let me pause the video while download. So uh, I think make is already downloaded in my system and if it is not downloaded it uh, you'll see this downloading step make 3.8.2 which is greater than 3.8.0. The next package is binary utilities. So we'll just say instead of make binary util no packages binary utils and binary utils is already downloaded but my system is asking for updation let me say yes and I'm pausing the video while it downloads. It looks like this is also finished. So this package is updated. Now the second requirement we need GCC. And I'll just say sudo yum install GCC. So GCC will be updated with the other packages. I'll say yes and this will take quite a while so let me pause the video. Looks like GCC is also updated and the next package we need library AIU LIB AIU which should be greater than 0 0.3.104 let us see So GCC is updated and the next thing is LIB AIU It says this package LIB AIO greater than 0 0.3 is already installed and the latest version. So if you are doing this uh, for first time, I'm using yum for all installation. I'll provide these commands in comment section. You can follow these. And if you are doing this for first time, it may take quite a while. Otherwise, this will just update. These are just basic, basic, basic packages. You don't need to bother much about this. Okay, so the requirement is fulfilled. The next step is you should have a download, uh, you should have a RPM GIF file from Oracle website. So I'll provide this link in the comment section and you can come to this website, Oracle Database Express Edition Release 2. Then you can download for Linux one. So just download this and you, have to unzip the download file and the rpm can be installed like a normal installation so i have already downloaded this file and i have stored this file here in my home folder i would like to perform installation in my home folder so this file comes like this oracle express edition 11.2 this is release 2 and this is for 64 bit system so let us go ahead and unzip this file. I'll say extract here.
so it gives us this file disk 1 and disk 1 will have oracle access edition rpm and some other directories so let us open terminal with this directory and so we have downloaded the file we have unchipped the file and this is at our desired location i would like to perform at home location then run the oracle database express edition executable which is dot rpm file to install oracle database express edition so we will just give this command rpm iv hyphen ivh then the respective rpm so i'll just say ls and okay it says permission denied so either you would like to perform this installation as root user or you can use sudo now the it's install it's preparing our installation Now it says that uh, the installation is finished and it's executing post installation step. Then it's, it says you must run etc init.d oracle xc for the configuration as the root user. So let us go and check in this dire directory where the installation has other directories. So computer and this is our oracle installation product 11.2 so the default location is just your computer or your root location with name u01 and uh, we need to go to this configuration which is in etc so just go to etc etc then i am in it d This is in a D and it has this Oracle XC. So Oracle XC and we'll use this Oracle XC for configuration. So let us just go to this directory etc. So we are here, Oracle XC. And we'll say configure. You must be root user to perform this configuration. I'm going to use this as sudo. Now, uh, what about this configuration? So, configuration will be asking some points. Like, uh, first thing it is asking about HTTP port. So, we are supposed to provide valid HTTP port. If we don't provide anything, it will take 8080 so this may be general problem the people working with uh, 
like java application so build up some time that application also takes this 8080 and oracle database also takes this 8080 so in those cases you would like to give this different path than the uh, different port than the default one but i would like to go with this 8080 and we'll just say enter enter means default will be used database listener 1521 okay default then it's asking for password what should be password for your sys and system user sys and system user are administrative user during installation we are supposed to provide password for this and they are admin user they have all kinds of rights we'll see check more about these let us give password for admin user then it's asking for confirm password so i gave the password you may not see any password getting entered here but i have given the password and i have confirmed the password then it's asking do you want oracle database express edition to be started on boot you can say yes or you can say no it's your choice but i would say yes now it's starting this configuration steps oracle net listener and it's configuring and creating a sample one first database for you to use later using your sys or sys admin you can perform these configuration task now the next step uh, we can start our database and for the manual starting we need to give this command we need to be same in this directory etc in init d or just directly give this command start and it will work let it configure i think it will take a while so finally the configuration is done and it it will say it will it took some 2 3 minutes and then it says configuring database done and installation completed successfully now we need to start it and let us see if it is working or not uh, it created one shortcut here let me check if this is working so this shortcut connects me to local host 8080 and apex so if you see this if you see this screen it means your installation is successful and now you can go ahead and start using your system so if i say session and we need to provide login i want to login as sys and we are giving password which was given during installation time i'll say but now and so yep i logged in as sys and there are these are some of the tables which we will discuss later and i'll just say log out so this is how the installation of oracle express edition is performed If you like this video please click on like button and please subscribe for more free tutorials like this thanks a lot